Grace Athena High School in Rochester, New York, has a new, most unlikely hero, a special ed student by the name of Jason McElwain. Let's keep it going. Jason is the basketball team manager. For the past couple years, he's been assisting coach Jim Johnson, helping with whatever the team needs. And go! Get him motivated and uh, hand out water and just be enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, to say the least. Despite being born with autism, Jason's father says his son has never had a problem expressing himself at basketball games. You know, I was always concerned that he might get a technical and they lose a game because he, you know, start yelling or whatever. Let's have a hard practice tomorrow, all hour and a half, and let's get ready for Arcadia. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, two. Because he has been so devoted to the team, for the last game of the season, Coach Johnson decided to let Jason actually suit up. Not to play necessarily, just to let him feel what it's like to wear a jersey. At least that was the plan. But with four minutes to go in last week's game, Coach Johnson stood up and pointed to number 52, Jason McElwain. After years of fetching water and toweling off other people's sweat, Jason was actually in a game. His first shot was a 20-footer from the right baseline. Was it close? Did you almost make I just, it? I just airballed it. <laughs> I'm like, just, dear God, please, let's just get him a basket. His second shot missed, too, but the third was a charm. A three-point no-doubter. And Jason wasn't done yet. Not by a long shot. If I wasn't there to witness it, I wouldn't have believed it, you know. You caught fire. I just caught fire. I was hot as a pistol. Jason ended up shooting six three-pointers. One right after the other. He had 20 points total. And each time a shot went in, his teammates and the crowd went a little crazier. His last basket, right at the buzzer, created total mayhem. Because he is autistic, Jason says he's used to feeling different. But never this different. Never this wonderful. Steve Hartman, CBS News, Rochester, New York.